So this is the J50 Degauss tool, and I'm going to just demonstrate smart tool calibration and functionality. Um, so first off, I need to enter calibration mode, so I'm going to flip the calibration switch. As you can see, the LED flashed three times. Now you know you're in calibration mode. I'm going to put the unit on the part in what would be ideal contact, and then I'm going to turn the unit on. So as you can see, now the unit is definitely on and it's picking up the part. Um, so then what I'm going to do next is flip the calibration switch again. So you can see the LED flash, now the perfect contact value is stored. So now we're going to do the south pole first. Um, so as you can see, I'm putting the south pole in the worst contact that you want to still be considered OK contact. So now I'll turn the unit on again. So you can see the unit's on. And I'll flip the calibration trigger again. And as you can see, the LED flashed three times. And now we're going to do the same. So now the value is stored, and we're going to do the same thing on the north pole. So put it in your worst um, contact point um, that you still want to be considered on target. Turn the unit on. And now I will flip the calibration trigger again, and the LED will flash three times. And then now you can see. It is back into sensing mode, and right now it is saying that we um, that the tool is on and that the south pole is on target, which is this side, and the north pole is off target because the LED is off. And as you can see now, if I mess with, if I change the sensitivity level, so I'm going to make this less sensitive. Now it is saying that that value is on target, and then I can actually do the same thing if I adjust this. So now it's saying that, um, so I moved the unit a little bit, it's unit's still on, so the red LED indicates part presence, the orange LED indicates tool on, the white L uh, LED indicates that the north pole is on target, and the blue LED, he LED indicates that the south pole is on target. Um, so now what I'll show is if I, I have a more sensitive setting, so now I changed it to the more sensitive setting, and now it's saying that the north pole is off target again, as indicated the part present red LED light went off and the white north pole on target LED went off indicating that that pole is off target. All right, so this is the J50 degauss tool and I'm going to demonstrate double blank calibration and double, double blank um, detection. So right now the unit's off, it's not calibrated and what we're going to calibrate it to is a 17 gauge piece of steel. Um, so first off, we're going to enter calibration mode. So as you can see, when I flip the calibration switch, uh, the LED flashed three times, and now you know you're in calibration mode. Now I'm going to turn on the unit. As you can see, the unit is now picking up the steel, so it's definitely on. So I'm going to flip the calibration switch again to save the value. And then now when, once it's done flashing, you know um, Everything's calibrated, and if we go over here to the LEDs, the red one indicates tool on, the orange one indicates part present, and the blue LED is indicating that there's only one sheet. Now, if you watch this middle LED, which will be white, um, as soon as I stick another um, sheet of steel that's also 17 gauge um, underneath, as soon as I get within about a centimeter, it is going to detect that there are two sheets. Um, and not one anymore, so that would be your indication that you need to make an adjustment or the robot needs to adjust um, and so forth. So as you can see, the white LED is on with the two sheets, and as you pull off, only the blue LED is on, indicating one sheet. All right, so this is the J50 degauss unit, and I'm going to demonstrate the degauss functionality and capability. So first off, I'm going to put the unit on the part, actuate the unit normally. So as you can see, uh, the unit is indeed on. It's picking up the part, and all the smart tool functionality is indicating that the part, or that the unit's on, the part is present, and both poles are in good contact. So now I'm going to turn the unit off. And normally I would degauss right away, but just to give an idea, I'm going to show you what the gauss readings look like before degaussing. Um, so as you can see, they're all up much above 20 into the 40s even in some spots. Um, 
So as you can see, that's not acceptable. And both sides will be similar. So yeah, that's rough around 30, sometimes jumps into the 40s, just kind of depends on the geometry of the part. So now I'm going to put the unit back on in the exact same spot that I had it before and run the degauss cycle. So roughly the same spot as I had it before. I'm going to flip the switch for the degauss cycle and when I do this green LED will come on indicating that the cycle is running. As soon as it turns off the cycle is done. As you can see it's pretty quick, probably roughly two or three hundred milliseconds. So now I'll take the unit back off and going to do take the gauss level readings again. And as you can see now we're under five in most areas and there might be a couple spots that jump a little closer to 10, but um, in general, pretty much all below 10. And then I'll show the other side.